ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يذلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله Dear brothers and sisters one you might find it strange but but uh, one recurrent theme in the Quran and hadith is that Islam is easy to the extent that one of the names of this religion in the early days was yusra referred to as yusra the easy way this is the easy way we have got the easy way and goes on and on throughout the quran and hadith the emphasis on ease no one knows our nature better than our own creator he knows he created us that we are always looking for the easy way aren't we in everything that's how development takes place that's how we get faster and faster phone no one is still carrying apple iphone 3 are you, are you? or 2 we've all moved on we shift to doing things quicker and faster and no one who does things in a difficult way is known as foolish person when the easy option is available and you still take the difficult course we call such a person a fool you could have done it this easier way why are you doing it like this So this is our nature and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows this. But it is easy first of all because we talk about theology. What is Islam's theology? Simple. La ilaha illallah and Muhammad Rasulullah. And the fact that we will return to him accountable for our lives. Worship none but him. Your Lord is only one. worship none but him and then when it comes to faraid even with faraid we see that the most important faraid like salah and saum and hajj the word yusr ease has been mentioned giving us easy options out when it's difficult to perform them as we know if we cannot stand we can pray sitting down if we can't pray sitting down we can pray lying down wudu is such an important fard for prayer qibla and wudu two important faraid for prayer but if you can't find water do dry tamam dry ablution which is so simple kind of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making point that itself is not the key key is to worship allah and he will find us the easy way out in the context of fasting immediately it is mentioned but if you are traveling you're ill complete when you are able to why because yuridu allah bikum al yusr wa la yuridu bikum al usr he emphasizes that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes for you ease wa la yuridu bikum al usr and he does not wish for you difficulty <coughs> hajj is so important but the verses on hajj says that wa atimmu al hajj wal umrata lillah fa in uhsirtum and if they prevent you from astaysa from astaysara and from astaysara min al hadi that if you are prevented then again the word yusr has been whatever you can find easily available for the sacrificial animal sacrifice and it continues the same verse that if you cannot find it easily then just fast for 3 days so with all the faraid we see derogation we see that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly give us the option and they are all subject to our physical and financial ability to be able to do this is faraid and as you know there are only very few rules 
Even the Quran, Allah SWT says, Wallah qad yassarna al-Quran fa halmi muddakkar. And Allah has made this Quran easy. Is there anyone to take admonition from it? And he says that, فَإِنَّمَا يَسْرْنَاهُ بِلِسَانِهِ The Prophet says, Allah SWT says that we have made it easy upon your tongue. The word yusr, yusr, yusr has been used throughout. But it's still, we find religion difficult. <laughs> It seemed like a tough ask to do all of these things. You know, my brother and sister, the life is difficult. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي كَبَدْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah has created a human being in difficulty. Not just ourselves, any human being out there has to strive and struggle. Life is difficult. What is Islam? Islam is the easiest solution to the difficulty of life. That's why it is easy. We can take different courses, how we live our life, how we are living, how we bring up our family, our children, how we deal with human beings, international issues, national issues, personal issues. When it says Islam is easy, it means the easiest way to find the purpose of life and make the best of it. That's why it is. Actually, everybody is looking for peace. We want a peaceful life, a content life, a happy life, a fulfilled life, an enjoyable life. Everybody. We all want that. We want dignity, we want freedom. When it says Islam is yusr, means this is the easy way to find those things you are looking for. But it's still we think it's difficult. And here I would like to just conclude by saying that in Sahih Bukhari, in the, in the book of Iman, there's a chapter, Babu Din Yusr, a chapter called, uh, a, a chapter called, Religion is Easy. And there's a hadith of Rasulullah on the authority of Abu Hurairah in which Prophet says Inna ad-deena yusr He begins by saying Inna ad-deena yusr Verily, religion is easy And he goes on to say Walain yushadu ad-deena Ahadun illa ghalabahu And whoever takes it in a difficult way it will overwhelm him, overpower him. It's very, very, these are the words of Rasulullah He's giving us a wisdom. And therefore he goes on to say, فَسَدِّدُوا وَقَارِبُوا وَأَبْشِرُوا And therefore do not go to difficult ways of doing things, excesses or, or ghulu as they say, to the extremes. But go towards the middle path. Take the moderate path. Waqaribu and go near. Some translations say go near, have the qurb of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but go near to the middle path. What Islam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really wants. Wa'abshiru and give yourselves good news. Spread good news. Quite often we take a very negative view of ourselves because we fail often. We think we, are, we have shortcomings, we cannot come up to the stand of Allah SWT. He is Ghafoor Rahim, come to him, take one step towards him, he'll run to you. Nothing pleases more than the beautiful uh, story in one of the hadiths that, you know, that when somebody was in the desert, the only provision he has to get out of this very hostile environment is a camel. And when he loses the camel, he loses all hope of surviving. Then he goes to sleep. He falls asleep. <coughs> and when he wakes up, he sees his camel standing there. And you can imagine the pleasure, the satisfaction this man gets when he sees his camel standing there. Hadith says, when we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah feels the same. Subhanallah. So what's stopping us? We should turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, abshiru means have that good news with us all the time. It will get us out of 
sins, it will get us moving to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you know you pray, you pray lit you pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, and a part of the night. It is that what connection with Allah, reminder of Him, remembrance of what matters in life, that is what makes following this path easy. It is a forgetfulness of what really matters that makes this life difficult. We always know from our heart what is right. We should empower the heart and follow that. Man came to Rasulullah and asked about birr and ism. What is piety, Ya Rasulullah? What is sin, Ya Rasulullah? And you know what he said, he could have referred to a very volumes of fiqh and books and so on. He said, Wastafti qalbak. Ask your heart. Allah is empowered our heart. We quite, you know why are we finding difficult ways? Because heart knows the right way. But we go to many fatwas. Because we're finding a way out. Finding a way of doing something that heart is telling us, which is simple and easy to do. And we make life difficult for us. Prophet ask your heart. In matters where your heart feels itminan, contentment is piety. And where your heart mahaka fi qalbik, fi sadrik, what does not settle in your heart, troubles you, that is sin. So how we have been empowered by uh, Prophet's beautiful teachings. So you follow that, you'll find always the right way and the, which will be the easy way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.